Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another beer review. Now, a bit of dried skin there. It wasn't a bogey. <laughs> Welcome to another one. Now, we've got an Azfix. So I did one the other week. Um, it was okay. It was Yeah, it was okay. Um, I'm finding Azfix beers slightly expensive. Um, I've looked online at them. They're priced quite high uh, for what they are, so that's just me, my opinion. Um, we've got a pale out, and it's a can of the era of re reionization. Now, if this isn't a designer-looking label, I don't know what it is. So you can see there, it's a pale out. It's got Equinox, Ido 7, and Galaxy, and it's 4.6% ABV. I looked on the Craft Beer Met Metropolis. They've got this at £5.85. So it's quite expensive for what it is, a 4.6% pale ale. Which, you know, if you look at it in other terms, you can, you know, if you went into the supermarket and looked for a relatively good 4.6% pale ale, it'll only most probably cost you a couple of quid. So you've got to look at that as well. So am I going to be overtly critical of this? The beer's got to be good, isn't it? You're paying a lot of money. So, um, it doesn't say anything else apart from the front, what the what the hops are. There you go. So, let's, let's just crack it open, shall we? Um, and see what this extraordinarily expensive beer, for what it is, does. If you know what I mean. So. Oh, uh, you know, fair dues. It smells nice. Hints of lemon. Definitely. It's all there. It's, it smells nice. It smells fresh. So, let's pour it in. See what it does. A little bit lively, as you can see. I want to burst out the can there. Because I'm going to have to pause this video. As you can see, this is the problem. we get. I get this problem with a lot of these cans, you know. Oh, of course, it's not the person who pours the beer, is it? Oh, no, it's the people at the brewery. Well, I'll just pause it. Right, eventually got it in. There she is. <laughs> so, being a glass, as you can see, hazeness to this. Uh, lots of bits and bobs. Okay, lots of bits, bits and bobs. Um, so, let's go in, shall we? So, cheers. It's nice and refreshing. Hint of bitterness. Um, Mouthfeel clings around the mouth. Lots of carbonation. Hints of lemon. A, lot, a tiny hint of grassiness there to it. Um, I'll be honest. It tastes ordinary. Okay. Okay. Am I going to go on a rant? I could go on a rant about this. Um, this is my second beer, Azvex beer. The first one, it was okay. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It's not bad. But forgettable. And this, to be honest, is exactly the same. Where the hell they can justify selling their beers at a high price mark is beyond me. Because all I'm tasting is a very nice pale ale, which can fit really more or less on the supermarket shelf. Um, and this is the problem. There comes a point where, you know, a lot of yeah, a lot of craft beers are on the shelf. And you buy you buy with your eyes. Cracking looking label, give them that. New brewery to me, I bought it. I fell for it. I've got sucker written on my forehead. But then you've got to think of the bigger picture. This is a 4.6% pale ale. Okay, a pale ale. Um, and so, for me, you want something that sticks out. You're spending a lot of money. Um, and you want something that says, wow. 
in a pay well, even. You're spending money. Wow. And there's no wow factor. And this is the problem with a lot of these breweries. Not a lot of breweries. Some breweries are, are priced competitively. There's some brewery, I'm not going to mention them. They are expensive, but the beer is cock on. See, when you're selling beer at a premium price, your beer has got to be cock on. And it's got to be exceptional. And this is the problem I have with this brewery so far, because I most probably will do more from them, is that so far the beer's been nice, but it's nice, but it's mediocre. It's, you know, run of the mill. It's, you know, and you feel a little bit short-changed. Now, you know, you can't moan about the people selling it because the people selling it, are trying to make money on it, and if the brewery is selling it to them at a premium price, it's it's a hard thing. But you know, for me, the beer is nice. It is. It's nice. I wouldn't say it's exceptional. I just wouldn't. I just would not say that's an exceptional pint of beer. I'll, I'll say that beer. It's good. But it's not worth the money for me. And this is where you start to look, you know, you look at stuff and you think, hmm, should I buy that? Is it worth the money? Is it worth a punt? Um, and I'm looking at Asvex, the two Asvex I've had. Was it worth the money? No. Um... Do I feel short-changed? Yes. Um, is the beer been good? It's been good, but I just part of me thinks in my head, you're a little bit too expensive for what you are. I think that's the main thing. Um, again, again. I mean, as I go in, it smooths itself out in the mouthfeel, but still, that price. I mean, I'm on the craft beer metropolis. Five pound. They've got it at five pound eighty five, and I'm looking at other beers cheaper. And what they are, I mean, we've got. Um, boom, boom, boom. Let's have a look at this one as an example. Uh, What's that one? We've got a beer from Drop Project, which is nearly 6% American Pale Ale, and it's on for four quid. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Justify your prices, Asvex. That's all I can say. I'll go in again. Yeah, nice soft mouthfeel. Okay. Will I buy again? No. Um, so I'll let you decide. Let you decide on this one. If you want to give it a go, tell me what you think about the craft beer pricing and stuff. And tell me if you feel sometimes you get ripped off. You know? Thanks for watching this one. Uh, please subscribe. Let them in the comments. See all of you again on another one. Bip bip.